Bless Father. Mubarak atun, mamlak atun, alav you all have been well, ruhil kudus. La na wa kula wanin, wa ila dahri dahiri. of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our holy immaculate most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To Run to thee, our do all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit 
now and ever and unto ages of ages. أيضا وأيضا بسلام إلى الرب نطلب أعدد وخلص وارحم واحفظنا يا الله بنعمتك بعد ذكرنا الكلية القداسة الطاهرة الفائقة البركات المجيدة سيدتنا والدة الإله الدائمة البتولية مريم مع جميع القديسين فلنبدا أنفسنا بعضنا بعضا وكل حياتنا للمسيح حلميا
peace, let us pray to the Lord. Save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and our Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other, and all our life, and to Christ. Our God. For thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe in glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
حفظت البنت ليا وصنتها وفي رقادك ما املت العالى وتركت يا والدة الاله لانك انتقلت الى الحياه بما انك ام الحياه فبشفاعتك انقذي من الموت نفوسنا Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
to our God, chant ye, clap your hands, all ye nations. In us be. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Al-Hikmah in us be. In those days, as Peter went throughout all regions, he came down also to the saints who dwelt in Lida. There he found a certain man named Anais, who was bedridden for eight years and paralyzed. And Peter said to him, Anais, Jesus Christ heals you. Arise and make your bed. And immediately he arose, and all who dwelt in Lydda and Sharon saw him. And they turned back to the Lord. Now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha, which means gazelle. She was full of good works and of charitable deeds which she did. And it came to pass in those days that she fell sick and died. And when they had washed her, they placed her in an upper chamber. Since Lita was near Joppa, the disciples hearing that Peter was there sent two men to him entreating him, come to us without delay. So Peter arose and went with them. And when he arrived, they took him Let's into the upper the chamber. All the widows stood by him weeping, showing the tunics and other garments which Tabitha made while she was with them. Amen. But Amen. Peter Amen. put them Amen. all outside and knelt down and prayed. Then turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she sat up. And he gave her his hand and raised her up. Then he called the saints and widows and presented her alive. And it became no. Throughout all Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. Peace be to you, the reader. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. As-salamu alaykum. And to thy spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. At that time, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate a pool, in Hebrew called Bethesda, which has five porticos. In these lay a multitude of invalids, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel of the Lord went down at certain seasons into the pool and troubled the water, and whoever stepped in first after the troubling of the water was healed of whatever disease he had. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him and knew that he had been lying there for a long time, he said to him, do you want to be healed? The sick man answered him, sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is troubled, and while I am going, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, rise, take up your pallet and walk. And at once the man was healed, and he took up his pallet and walked. Now that day was the Sabbath. 
So the Jews said to the man who was cured, it is the Sabbath, it is not lawful for you to carry your pallet. But he answered them, the man who healed me said to me, take up your pallet and walk. They asked him, who is that man who said to you, take up your pallet and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn as there was a crowd in the place. Afterwards, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, see, you are well. Sin no more, that nothing worse will befall you. The man went out and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had healed him. فصل شريف من بنشارة القديس يوحنا الإنجيل البشير التلميذ الطائر مجد لك يا رب المجد لنصغي في ذلك الزمان صعد يسوع إلى أورشليم وإن في أورشليم عند باب الغنم بركة تسمى بالأبرانية بيت حزدة لأنها لها خمسة أروقة كان متجعا فيها جمهور كثير من المرضى من عميان وعرج ويابسي الأعضاء ينتظرون تحريك الماء لأن ملاكا كان ينزل أحيانا في البركة ويحرك الماء والذي كان ينزل أولا من بعد تحريك الماء كان يبرو من أي مرض اعتراه وكان هناك إنسان به مرض منذ ثماني وثلاثين سنة هذا رأوا يسوم القن وعلم أن له زمانا كثيرا قال له أتريد أن تبرى فجاب المريض يا سيد ليس لي إنسان متى حرك الماء يلقين في البركة بل بينما أكون آتيا ينزل قبل آخرون فقال له يسوع قم أحمل سريرك وامشي فللوقت برى الرجل وحمل سريره ومشى وكان في ذلك اليوم سبت فقال اليهود للذي شفي أنه سبت فلا يحل لك أن تحمل السرير فأجابهم إن الذي أبرأني هو قال ليحمل سريرك وامشي فسألوه من هو الإنسان الذي قال لك احمل سريرك وامشي أما الذي شفيا فلم يكن يعلم من هو لأن يسوع تزل إذ كان في الموضع جمع وبعد ذلك وجده يسوع في الهيكل فقال له قد فيت فلا تعد تخطئ لئلا يصيبك الشر فذهب ذلك الانسان واخبر اليهود ان يسوع هو الذي أبراه مجد لك يا رب مجدنا Good morning. 
El Masia come. Christ is risen. El Masia come. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs, bestowing life. I want to ask you to do something this morning. I want you all to reach back in your memory a few weeks ago, before Easter, to the time of Lent. For us, Lent is a time when we become very aware of our fallen human nature and very aware of our human weaknesses and very aware of our separation from God. And so each week during that time of Lent, the church gave us a prayer as a reminder of where our ultimate hope and where our ultimate help really comes from. And it comes from God. And we hear that prayer each week during the great Compline service during Lent, which we offered here at the Basilica every Monday evening. And the prayer goes like this. O Lord of hosts, be with us, for we have no other help in times of sorrow but you. O Lord of hosts, have mercy on us. This is a very impor important prayer for us, not only during Lent, but always. And not only during times of sorrow or in times of distress, but at times, at all times, and at every time during our lives. In times of joy and in times of peace and in times of comfort. Because it reminds us of the importance to always keep God as the focus of our lives. Because we know that it is with God where we find our ultimate hope in, our, in this life. And sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that truth. I've been blessed to have several mentors in my life and several spiritual directors who have helped me through the difficult times of my life. And they've inspired me with their words of wisdom. And one of those people is a priest from the parish where I grew up in California. And I remember going to see him one time to receive his blessing before I left to begin my theological studies at seminary in Boston. And at one point in our discussion, I asked him, Father, how does someone know if they're doing the right thing in their life? And I prob probably asked him this because I was wondering at the time if going to seminary was really the right thing for me to do. And I'll never forget his answer. And some of you may have heard me relay this story to you before. But he said that life is a series of crossroads. And we're faced with decisions each and every day of our lives. Some of those decisions are more difficult for us than others. But we need to choose a direction when we come to that crossroads. And then we need to ask God to guide us in that decision and to strengthen us in that decision and to bless us in that decision. But here's the thing I remember the most. He said that the key in our decision making is that we always remember to never leave God out of the equation. And I think today, on this third Sunday after Easter, that the church is reminding us of the importance of having God in our lives and reminding us of where our focus needs to be. And that focus needs to be on God. The gospel that was read this morning was of a man who found himself stuck in a rut. He was literally paralyzed by this life, both physically and spiritually. It was a story of a man who for 38 years sat by a pool of water located in Jerusalem with some others who had some kind of sickness. Some were blind, the gospel said. Some were injured. Some had certain physical restrictions that limited their physical ability in some way. 
but they all went down to this pool because they believed it to have healing powers. The gospel said that at certain times there was an angel that would come down and stir up the water and that whoever would step in first after the waters had been stirred would be made well. And so they all would wait in the hope of being the first to touch this water. And then the gospel said that Jesus happened to be passing by this pool and that he saw this paralyzed man laying there before him on a bed and asked him one simple question. He said to him, Sir, do you want to be healed? And instead of answering the question directly, the paralyzed man said to Jesus, but I have no man to put me into the water after the water has been stirred. And there's always somebody else who beats me to the water and gets healed ahead of me. For 38 years, this man was living with this sense of hopelessness that he would never be healed. He would never be able to get to that water because he was paralyzed and nobody, it's hard to believe, after 38 years would recognize and help this, young, this man into the water. And so here's what Jesus said. He said, rise, take up that bed and walk. And we're told in the gospel that he immediately was made well and that he immediately took up his bed, and walked away. It's an amazing story. But for 38 years, this man was not able to find any way to be healed. There was no one who would help him, and there was no way for him to get to the water before somebody else beat him. He was literally stuck in a rut. He was stuck between a rock and a hard place. He had nowhere to go. He was living with a false sense of security that if he could only get to that water first before anybody else, then for sure he would be healed. But when Jesus showed up, his hope was redirected, wasn't it? It was redirected away from the water and onto God. And only then was he healed. If we allow it, God will redirect our lives. But sometimes we get stuck in our own ruts, don't we? And sometimes we forget to include God into that equation of our life. That's what my priest was trying to remind me of when I asked him about how I am going to make decisions in my life. And we have been reminded of this very point each week since Easter. On the first Sunday after Easter, we learned that when the Apostle Thomas, remember the doubting Thomas, when he remembered to include God into his equation, his doubt was redirected to hope and to the risen Lord. And then on the second Sunday, last week, we learned that when the women who went to Christ's tomb to anoint Christ's dead body with oil and realized that God was put back into the equation because he had risen. That's what the angel told them. Their grief was redirected to joy and to the risen Lord. And then today, we're told that when God was put back into the equation, a paralyzed man was made well. His physical weak weakness was restored, and his sense of hopelessness was redirected towards faith. And we're even told at the end of the gospel that was read today that Jesus later found this same man who was once paralyzed in the temple after he was healed, praying and giving thanks to God for helping him out of his miserable, miserable rut that he was in. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, 
on the third Sunday after Christ was raised from the dead and after he trampled down death by death and bestowed life to those in the tombs, let us work hard to always remember to let God work miracles in our lives. And if we find ourselves stuck in a rut, as we sometimes do, let us remember the beautiful prayer that the church gives us each year at Lent, a prayer that is designed to refocus our attention away from the things of this life that give us a sense of hopelessness, and it redirects us and repoints our, our focus on God, who is the source of all of our deliverance and the source of our ultimate freedom. O Lord of hosts, be with us, for we have no other help in times of sorrow and in times of distress and in times of joy and in times of peace, no other help but you. O Lord of hosts, have mercy on us. El Messiah come. Christ is risen. Christos Anesti. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death Help by death, and upon those in the tombs, bestowing life. Go ahead. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us to God by the grace we do. That being guarded. That being guarded by thy might, we may ascribe in glory unto thee, to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. No one who is bound with the desires and pleasures of the flesh is worthy to approach and draw nigh or to serve. يا الله كعظيم رحمتك وكمت لي كثرة رأفاتك معاثني صني كثيرا اسمي في نبي الكرام جزء بيبون بعد أن أعرف شخص صنع كما تصدق في أقوالك محمد
All of you. May the Lord God remember you in his kingdom always. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. All of you, the Lord God, remember in his kingdom, always, now, and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> ساكنين في هذه المدينة والمجتمعين في هذه الكنيسة المقدسة والمتغيبين عنها ووكلائها والمحسنين إليها والذين يتعبون ويخدمون فيها ليذكركم الرب الإله في ملكوت السماوي كل حين الآن وكل وان وإلى دهر الداهرين. Our most reverend Metropolitan Philip, may the Lord God remember him in his kingdom always, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Our president and civil authorities and our armed forces in defense of peace and freedom everywhere. The Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father and Metropolitan Philip, and all our brotherhood in Christ, the Lord God remember in his kingdom, Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The servants of God who are remembering today that they may have life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation, and pardon and forgiveness of their sins. The servant of God, Pam Ajluni, Nicola and Takli Ferris Kakish, Riyadh and Jamile. Mark Mancinati, Suzanne Ghanayim, Joe and Nadia Al Khatib and their family, Father John Badin, Jalil Ghanam, Mona, Zain Elias, Max, Musa, Jirius, Haddad, Deacon Joe, Harb, Michael and Ashley, McCain, Father George and Jackie Rados, George Basila, Fayez Madani, Frida Kapitasi, Salim Mufarrah, Fadi, Katya, Gabi, Jad, Ilian Sir, Justin, Johnny Khouri, Fuad, Joseph Hazar, Moses Ibrahim, Eileen Barber, and for peace in the Holy Land, in Syria, in Lebanon, in Palestine, in Egypt, in Jordan, in America. May the Lord God remember them in his kingdom now and ever. And unto ages of ages. Amen. Servants of God departed this life in the hope of resurrection and eternal life. Those whom we are remembering today. Mary Aide, Mufid Harb, Anwar George, Ken Bidrin, Joseph Michael, George Abu Adili, Jack Mansour, Vicky Fertig. Father John Estefan Zacharia wa Maryam Musallam. May the Lord God remember them in his kingdom now and ever and unto ages of ages.
Let us complete our prayer unto the Lord. For the precious gifts now offered, let us pray to the Lord. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. That all things good and profitable for our souls and for peace for the whole world, let us ask of the Lord that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, painless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Calling to remembrance our all holy immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed together with thine all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Peace be to all. Let us love one another that with one accord we may confess. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength, the Lord is my first foundation. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my firm foundation. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my firm foundation. My refuge and my deliverance. The doors, the doors, in wisdom let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty. Maker, maker, maker of heaven and earth, and, and of all things, things visible and invisible. And in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father, the whole world, light of life, the very God of God, begotten not made, one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men, and for our salvation, came down from heaven and heaven. Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear, let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us lift up our hearts.
Let us give thanks unto the Lord. To thee also for this ministry, and thou wilt say to receive it on the Lord. Give another thousand, thousand saints, and ten thousand servants. Singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Hosanna. for you for the forgiveness of sin. Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. <laughs> rational and bloodless worship and beseech thee and pray thee and supplicate thee send down thy holy spirit upon us and upon these gifts spread forth and make this bread the precious body of our christ amen and that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy christ amen changing them by thy holy spirit amen amen
especially our most holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Peace, safety, honor, health, or length of days, 
and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. Grant us that with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And grant and vouchsafe, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Ban Allah di fesamwa, liyat kata sismu, liyat ti malakutu, itakin mashiyatu, kama fesama kadalika alalard, kubzana jawariyat de leon, batruk lanman alayna, kama natruk nahnu liman lana alayhi, wala tu kalina fitajriba, laki nukin. Liana la kamu kuwa kuwa tu al maj ayu halabu alibin wa ruhil kudus lana wa kula wanin wa ila dahri dahiri. Assalamu alaikum. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. Through the grace and compassions and love towards mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. To me, a sinner, have mercy upon me. Let us attend the holy things are for the holy. Divided and distributed the way of God who is divided and not consumed. Who has ever eaten yet never consumed and sanctified those.
The fear of God and faith and love draw near. is he that comes in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us.
people and bless thine inheritance. My sister's risen from the dead, the trampling down, down in thy death, death, and the poor those in the tombs bestowing love. The iqam min bain al-amwad wa wati' al-mawt bil-mawt wa wahab al-hayat لِلَّذِينَ فِي And after having partake of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly life, given terrible mysteries of Christ, let us worthy give thanks unto the Lord. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life and to Christ our God. Thou art our sanctification, and to Thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray unto the Lord. O Lord, who blesses those who bless thee and sanctify those who put their trust in thee. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them and recompense by the divine power and forsake us not who hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to civil authorities, and to our armed forces, and to all thy people. For all good and giving and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee do we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Praise to God, who has set the tree of the prophets, who has fulfilled the expectation of the Father, to our hearts with joy and gladness, always now and ever, and ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and has spoken forever. Let us pray to the Lord. The blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love towards mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee.
May he who rose from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and all, all laudable apostles, of our fathers among the saints, John Chrysostom, whose divine liturgy we just celebrated, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, and of our venerable, God bearing fathers and of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Christ is risen. He is risen. El come. Christos Anesti. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life.